Hello and welcome to Power Diary, the practice management software designed to make your life easier. In this brief video, I'll show you how to set up your account, add practitioners and users. So without further ado, let's get started. In a moment, we will cover setting up your business information, setting up your locations, setting up your calendar display, adding practitioners, updating practitioner settings, updating practitioner availability, and lastly, adding users. Since you're new to Power Diary, you're probably wondering, where do I get started? Let me show you. Head on over to the left-hand side navigation and click on Settings. Then click Configuration. Everything under this icon will be the configurable settings for your business. So let's get started with business info. The information that you used when creating your account has already populated here. You simply need to come on in and fill in the remaining details. Your address, your tax ID, is the email address that you use to create the account the one you want on your business information? Go ahead, update this as you see fit. Also, you can change your time zone from here and how you want your calendar clock to display. So go ahead, fill this out, and when you're done, click Save Changes. Now that we've completed setting up our business information, let's go ahead and set up our location information. So again, under Settings, Configuration, you will find Locations. There you go. Now, from here, you will see the information from your business name has already populated, but we need to update the location information. So click the toggle and select Edit. Now fill in this location's address and information. When you're done, don't forget to select a color to display on your calendar and click Save. Now, if you have a second location, you can go ahead and add it in at this time as well. Just add it in, name your location, fill in the address information, select a color, and you're all set. Great. So, the last thing I wanna really focus on within this configuration is your calendar display. How do you want your calendar to display when you log into the Power Diary system? When do you want it, the calendar to start at? When do you want it to end at? You can configure this to meet your business's needs. So maybe that's your business hours when you open and when you close. You can go ahead, update that how you like. You can also choose the minutes in the calendar block and the block size, and also the minute increments in your calendar time picker. So go ahead, look through all those settings on calendar display and make it work for you. Now, you will find several other areas here under configuration that you will want to pay attention to and you'll want to complete. At this time, we're just going to stop there and we're going to go ahead and set it up for our practitioners. So now that we've got the basics of our business information completed, let's start with those practitioners. So again, go to the left navigation, click settings and go to practice. Practitioners. Now, by default, the person that created the account will be the first practitioner. So if you are an admin that is creating this account for a practitioner, you'll want to go in here and update it. So simply select the one that's in there and fill out the information as requested on the side. Now, all this information will go ahead and go to the invoice. So you want to make sure that it is accurate and it includes all the relevant information that may be required for insurance and billing purposes. Also, it's a nice touch to upload your image of your practitioner. So if you've got one, go ahead and upload it there. And when you're done, click Save. Now, from here, you can go ahead and update a lot of the other details for the practitioner. You can update their settings, add insurers, Google sync their calendar, add available services, and also update their availability or schedule. So let's go on over to those other areas. Now that we've completed filling out the details for the practitioner, let's head on over to settings. From here, you will see that these are all configurable to meet the practitioner's needs. Is this practitioner the default for all new clients? 
Obviously, I'm the only practitioner. Do I want the client's date of birth to be on the invoice? Up to you. You can manage your locations, and once you've got services available, you can add them to be made available within the client portal, which is great and a true time saver. Now, the only thing on here that may confuse you is the dedicated SMS number being required to send text messages. After you convert your account, Power Diary makes it very easy for you to apply for a dedicated SMS number. We do it all within the system and it's affordable at only $4.99 a month and comes with 35 free SMS credits. Why do you need a dedicated SMS number? Well, in the United States, it has been made a requirement that all businesses that are sending text messages have their own SMS number. So we've made it available for you to apply and use within Power Diary. Now that we've completed the basic details for the practitioner, you can continue on filling in the additional areas, be it Google Calendar Sync, adding services, and so much more. You can do it right here from this practitioner page. But for now, we're gonna click on availability and get our schedule in the system so we can start booking in clients for our available dates. So let's click availability and let's head on in. As you can see, this practitioner, me in this case, regular weekly availability has been already pre-populated. From here, you can go ahead and click the gear icon and edit it and change it to meet your practitioner's needs. Whatever time they wanna come in, whatever time they wanna go out. Do you want this to be a reoccurring availability? Do you want it to last a certain period of time? You can update everything right from here. So go ahead, head on in, start working on that practitioner's availability. With practitioner availability all wrapped up, we only have one last step to complete, and that is adding in users. So under settings, I want you to go to users. There you go. By default, the person who created the Power Diary account is the master user. If you need to update this, simply select the pencil icon and update the master user. When you're done, click Save Changes. All right, now let's add a new user. Simply select the button that says Add New User. Fill in their information. If this is a practitioner, you may want to set the default calendar for that practitioner. If it's an admin, be sure you give them access to all calendars. And when you're done, send an invitation link and they will receive an email from Power Diary and now have access to their Power Diary account. And just like that, we've completed the basic setup for our Power Diary account. We've added our business info, we've added practitioners, and we've added users. Now, get on into that Power Diary account, set this up for you, go ahead, start adding services, start booking appointments, access the client portal, and so much more. If you have any questions, feel free to head on over to our video library. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.